Quebec Health Minister Christian Dubé is set to present his plan to reform the health care system Tuesday. I'm joined by Dr. Judy Morris, President of the Association of Emergency Physicians of Quebec, to talk about some of the 50 measures in the plan that will be aimed at restoring the system by 2025. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Morris. The upcoming plan obtained by Radio-Canada shows that Quebec would limit ER wait times to 90 minutes by setting up command posts made up of key people in establishments. How would that work and what would it mean? I, th I think what's, uh, we don't have all the details of the project, but I think it's to, we have, in order to have the ERs run uh, better, in order to have the, the patients go faster, go up to the hospital beds, uh, we need to be more efficient as a, as a whole, as a system. Our hospitals need to be more efficient. So by working together, not just the ER saying things are not going well, and by looking at data, we're going to be able to improve, hopefully, uh, the situations for patients consulting in ED. More measures, including digitizing the healthcare system, eliminating forced overtime for healthcare workers, and allowing Quebecers to choose which institutions give them the care they need rather than it being determined for them by region. Are you optimistic this can all be put in place efficiently? It's always a huge challenge. There's so many players involved, but you know, abolishing forced overtime is essential if we want to keep our teams together, if we want to keep our workforce motivated. So that's that's going to be essential in the future. And looking at the data, where are the bottlenecks in the system? Uh, how do we do to improve? What needs to be corrected to, in order to be more efficient for everyone working in the system and for the patients? So that's going to be essential. Um, always the question we're going to have to all work together uh, on this plan. Will it solve everything? We'll have to see. But at the very least, if it moves us in the, you know, in the right direction, uh, um, we're hopeful about that. Right now in Montreal, hospitals are at 110% capacity. Do you think that these measures are going to be enough to repair the system? We've been pushing for those changes. We've been saying to the government, uh, a, a bunch of us, not just uh, Amirik, but uh, uh, ED chiefs in Quebec, we've been asking them, look at the data. Uh, we're going to be able to, uh, be able to adapt better. Uh, Cité de la Santé, you can cite them. They've tried to, they've kind of started moving in that direction on their own, and they've shown decrease in, in in, uh, stays in the emergency department. So there's already been a push to look at the data, to increase efficiency in the hospitals and in the whole healthcare system. It has shown to be efficient elsewhere. In Ontario, for example, where they do have command centers, they have improved uh, the waiting times. It's not perfect yet, but uh, if we at least see some improvement uh, for patients, for uh, everyone in Quebec, we're going to be better off. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Morris. You're welcome.